Hello students, as I promised you in the previous slide that we will discuss problems on quadratic functions. So this is the first problem we are going to discuss. And in this problem, if you see, we need to find 10 important things. These are the all things that we will discuss for any quadratic function. So we will discuss one by one. But if you remember with the previous slide, we discuss all these things with the value of H and K. Clear? So here, what is the quadratic function? It is X square plus 5X plus 6. So I mentioned one dot means the value we will. And if you will uh, write this, it is AX power 2 plus BX plus C. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let us uh, write the, make the size of this is little bigger. It is AX square plus BX plus C. So if you will do it, it is A is equal to how much? A is equal to 1, B is equal to 5, and C is equal to 6. These are the values of A. And if we want to write this function into a standard form, it is AX minus H whole square plus K. Clear. What is H? Minus B upon 2A. Minus. What is the value of B? 5 upon 2 into 1. 2 into 1 means how much it is? Minus 5 upon 2 that is minus 2.5 this is the value minus 2.5 clear and if we want to calculate the value of k it is c minus b power 2 upon 4a c is equal to how much 6 minus b square is 5 square 25 4 into 5 so it is equal to 6 minus 6.25 that is it is minus 0.25. This is the value of K. Clear? Or this can be written as if you will want to write it minus 1 upon 4. 0.25 can be written as 1 upon 4 in terms of rational form if you want to change this to decimal form. Clear? So this is the value of H and K. In the next paper, uh, I'll mention it. It is uh, so fx. How can we write? It is a means one x minus h 2.5, but minus minus plus and plus k. It is minus one upon four. This is how we are writing because h is equal to what is h is equal to? h is equal to is minus 2.5 and k is equal to minus 0 0.25 or you can write it minus 1 upon 4. This is k. So the question number 1 comes, what is the vertex of this parabola? What is the vertex? And vertex is, what is the formula for vertex? H comma k. So what is the vertex of this parabola? 2.5 comma minus 1 upon 4. This is the vertex. Clear? Another thing if we discuss, it is axis of symmetry. What is the line that divides the graph into two equal and symmetrical parts? It is x is equal to h. x is equal to minus 2.5. So this is the second property. x is equal to h. So if you remember vertex is h comma k, then only you can answer. If you remember axis of symmetry is x is equal to x, then only you can remember. Otherwise, it is not possible. Number three, here it is a upward parabola. Upward parabola means what type of value will exist? Minimum value will exist. Minimum value. And what is the mini, what is the formula for minimum value? F h equals to k. So F h is minus 2.5 and k is equal to minus 1 upon 4. So the minimum value is 
minus 1 upon 4 at minus 2.5. This is property number 3, the minimum value. Clear? Now, point number 4 comes, question number 4 is uh, domain. Because this is a polynomial function, so what is the domain? R, without consideration. Number 5. Clear. Here, A is greater than 0. Range. A is greater than 0. Because A is greater than 0, so what is the formula for range? We learned in the previous uh, video that the range starts with K and it goes up to infinite. And what is the value of k? It is minus 1 upon 4 up to infinite. This is the range. Clear? Now, number 6 property comes. Property number 6. What is the question number 6? Question number 6 is the function where it is increasing. The function in the interval a, it is increasing. Okay. Mm, the interval... where f is increasing clear so increasing means this is the if you see if i draw the parabola here clear so this type of parabola we will have this type of parabola so here value is going up so value is going up from where in this interval it is going up this is you can say this is down and this is up. You can say because if you will consider this is going down, so this is going up. If you consider this is going down, so this is up. Clear. One side it is down, one side it is up. So one side you will consider it is upward, one side it is considered. If you are here, so you will consider value is going down. If you are here, you will consider value is going up. So point number 6 and point number 7 are correlated. The interval where f is decreasing. Clear. Where it is decreasing, it is equivalent to range. If you are writing here, what will be? I told you it is always written in increasing form. If you want to write increasing, so where it is increasing, it is increasing from minus 1 upon 4 to infinite. And where it is decreasing, it is decreasing from infinity to minus 1 upon 4. It is in decreasing from infinity to here. It is increasing from here to infinity. This is the concept. Clear? So these are the seven properties we have studied. Now comes to next one, point number eight is X intercept. Okay, number eight, X intercept. X intercept means Fx is equal to zero. And if Fx is zero, what is the question? X square plus five X plus six is equal to zero. I think this is the question. Uh, x square plus 5x plus 6, yes. Clear. So, if we see a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, c is equal to 6. If we compare it with standard form. So, what is the quadratic formula that you studied in basic mathematics? x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Minus b minus 5 plus minus b square 25 4 into a into c is 6 upon 2 into 1 so that is minus 5 plus minus it is 25 minus 24 it is 1 upon 2 so if you will simplify this how much you will get minus 5 plus minus 1 upon 2 that is 1 is minus 5 plus 1 upon 2, 1 is minus 5 minus 1 upon 2. So, in the first one, we will get minus 4 upon 2. In the second one, we will get minus 6 upon 2. So, it is minus 2 minus 3. Clear? 
so if minus 2 minus 3 means what the curve will move cross the x axis minus 2 comma 0 and minus 3 comma 0 these are the two points where the curve will cross the x axis so these are the what are the x intercept this is the x intercept and point number 9 is y intercept y intercept means x is equal to 0 so f0 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 6 so f0 is equal to 6 clear so f0 is equal to 6 is the y intercept means the curve will cross y axis at this point okay so this is about all these things now we'll draw the graph of this parabola and to draw the graph we will draw the y axis we will draw the x axis this is x this is y let us take 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7. Now three things for the graph you need to remember. You need to find to draw the graph. Vertex, X intercept and Y intercept. These three things. And fourth thing you must know if a is positive it will be a upward parabola if a is negative it will be a downward parabola clear so what is the vertex here vertex here is minus 2.5 comma minus 1 upon 4 that is 0.25 you can write even 0.25 will be better clear what is the x intercept it is minus 2 and minus 3 and what is the y intercept it is 6 these are the three things so if you see here minus 2.5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2.5 is here and what is this it is this point this point is minus 2.5 and minus 0 0.25 and this is minus 2 this is minus 3 if you want to write this is minus 2 minus 2.3 clear and where y it will cross 1 2 3 4 5 6 it will cross y here so the parabola will be like this one just imagine this is one side and this is another side this is this type of parabola will have so my dear friends to draw a parabola what you need to remember you need to remember one is the y intercept where it is crossing the y axis another is the x intercept the point where it crossing the x axis and this vertex what is this name is vertex vertex means where the curve changing from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing position clear so this is the vertex so this is the graph of the parabola fx equals to x square plus 5x plus 6 this is the parabola and what type of parabola this is upward parabola this is upward parabola so this is example number one that we have discussed now if i consider another example okay let us take from the, this is question number 20 question number 20 our page it is 25 what is the only we will copy the function rest thing we will evaluate everything minus 4 x square minus 4 x and plus 16 this is the question minus 4 x square minus 4 x plus 16 okay let us uh, do it here it is a x square plus b x plus c what is a comparing minus 4 what is b minus 4 what is c it is 16 so these are the value of a b and c now 
we will write this function into standard form a x minus h power 2 plus k. So what is h here? It is minus b upon 2a. Minus b is minus 4 upon 2 into minus 4. Clear? So there are 3 negative 1, 2, 3 and the product of 3 negative is negative 4 upon 8. So negative 1 upon 2 that is negative 0 0.5. This is the value of h. And if we find the value of k, it is c minus b square upon 4a. c 16 minus minus 4 whole square. Correct? Yes. Upon 4 into a is minus 4. So how much it is? 16 minus 4 minus 4 square is 16 upon 4 for the plus 16. Oh my God, this is a big value. 17. Very difficult to draw here, but no problem. Clear. So the value of h is this one. So how fx can be represented? fx is equal to minus 4x minus, but the value of this is minus 1 by 2. So it will be plus 1 by 2 whole square and plus 17. Clear. So in exam, they may write this question fx is equal to minus 4x square minus 4x plus 16 or they may write this question as well. Both are same questions, only the difference in form. This is the standard form that we are writing ax power 2 plus bx plus c. This is the revised form, reduced form, transformed form of the parabola function, means quadratic function ax minus h whole square plus k. So you need to remember this form also. This is very important form. You need to remember, you need to fix in your mind. Clear. Now we will discuss about all 10 things that we are discussing for. This is a number one. It is the vertex. Vertex is equal to h comma k. What is the value of h? It is minus 1 upon 2 and the value of k is 17. This is the vertex. Number 2. Axis of symmetry. Is x equals to h. x equals to minus 1 upon 2. This is the axis of symmetry. Number 3. What is the number 3? Number 3 is uh, uh, the uh, what number 3 we were evaluating? Vertex, axis of symmetry. Yes. Maximum or minimum value. Clear? Here, what is the value of A? A is equal to minus 4, less than 0. Clear? So, less than 0 means what type of function we will have? We will have a downward parabola. In this case, what type of parabola we will have? Downward parabola. And downward parabola means what type of value will exist? Here, the maximum value will exist. So the maximum value. Maximum value is fh equals to k. Formula is same. So f minus 1 upon 2 equals to 17. So the value of function, maximum value of the function is 17 at x equals to minus 1 upon 2. Clear? In the standard form, here h, but if we put x is equal to, so we will get 17. Okay. Number 4. Number 4 is, what is the domain? Domain is r. Number 5. What is the range? Range is what? Range because... It is a downward parabola. So range will be minus infinity to k. And it will be minus infinity to k is 17. This is the range. And number 6 is, what is the number 6? Number 6 is, if we means uh, the interval, the interval of f increasing. So if we draw the parabola, it will be like this one. Here this is minus infinity. Here it is 
17. Clear? So the interval of F increasing, increasing means going up. So it is minus infinity to 17. Clear? But if I ask the interval of F decreasing, F decreasing, it will change 17 to minus infinity. This is the F decreasing. Clear? Now point number 8 comes is point number 8 is X intercept. Put FX 0. So we will get minus 4x square minus 4x plus 16 is equal to 0. And uh, how much it is? x is equal to minus b plus minus b minus 4ac upon 2a. And minus b means plus 4 plus minus b square. b square means 4 for the 16 minus 4 a is minus 4 and c is 16 upon 2 into a is minus 4 so the value comes here is um, 4 plus minus it will be 16 4 for the 16 16 uh, let us use uh, where is calculator? Okay, we will take it will be 16 multiply 4 multiply 4 it is 256 plus 16 it is 272 and if we'll take a square root of 272 it will give you 16.5 or you can say 2 you can write 272 upon minus 8 and it will be equal to we will write here it will be equal to 4 plus minus 16.5 square root of this upon minus 8 that will be 4 plus 16.5 upon minus 8 and 4 minus 16.5 upon minus 8 if you will simplify this 20.5 upon minus 8 and minus 12.5 upon minus 8. So what is the answer? Let us find it. Uh, it is 20.5 divided by 8. So no, no, no. 20.5 divided 8. How many? 2.56. So let us take uh, it is uh, minus 2.56. Okay. Mm, and it is 12.5 divide 8. So it is 1.56. So it is positive 1.56. Here, because one negative, so negative answer. Here, this negative, negative cancel. So positive 1.56. So what are the x intercept minus 2.56 comma 0 and 1.56 comma 0. This is the x intercept. Now we'll find the number 9 is y intercept. So sometimes means not sometimes in this type of question only x intercept is little bit difficult, but you need to practice the quadratic formula. So to get the y-intercept, put x is equal to 0 and f0 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 16. So f0 is equal to 16. So what is the y-intercept? It is 0 comma 16. This is. Now we will draw the graph and uh, draw the graph. What we need? First we need what was the vertex minus 1 by 2 17 okay no problem so the vertex is we need three things vertex minus 1 upon 2 
17. What is the x intercept? x intercept are minus 2.56 comma 0 and 1.56 comma 0. And what is y intercept? It is 0 comma 16. Also, because a is less than 0, so it is a downward parabola. So these things you need to remember. Then I'll explain you little more things here. This is, uh, let us consider this is, and uh, okay. So this is x-axis, this is y-axis. Okay, let us say 5, let us denote 5, 10, oh, then 15, clear. Uh, okay, this is 5, this is 10, this is 15, 7, 20. We have taken a little small scale, means for big value, minus 5, minus 10, and minus 15. Clear? No negative value of y, so no need. So first is in vertex minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 2 will be here and 17 17 will be here so this is the vertex please remember this is the vertex what is the vertex minus 1 upon 2 17 so vertex is here negative side and y is 17 now x intercept 1.56 x intercept will be likewise here and y intercept means this another x intercept will be here clear so what is the y intercept it is 16 so graph will start and cross the x axis sorry y axis here and then it will move like this one because it starts here crossing the line and then going down 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 sorry this is going down 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 like this and another part of the another point of the graph starts here and going down, down, down. So this is a very narrow graph, narrow type of graph we are having here. So this is the parabola. And if you will see this, this is the line of axis of symmetry. This is axis of symmetry. This is x is equal to minus one upon two. Clear. So we can draw these graphs and uh, these are very simple it is not difficult clear so one more type of question uh, i need to explain that what is the use of uh, these uh, quadratic function so that is that comes under the topic of quadratic modeling clear so we will discuss this uh, quadratic modeling in the next lecture because it will be a big video otherwise clear so thank you very much and in next video we will discuss quadratic modeling.